we have placed an initial alignment along the edge of the road, the existing road, and now what we'd like to do is to quickly place a sewer up the road. But first we need to put the existing manhole in. Uh, we know that down here is an existing manhole, so let's begin by windowing up in this area. And I'll first, cr I know the manhole's at station zero, so which by the way could easily be 10 plus double aught, any way you like it. So we'll place a manhole here. So there's a manhole. Now, you'll also see the manhole has appeared here on the end of the alignment. Now, let's see what the, let's list, let's list the coordinates. And we see that the manhole has an invert out of six, of 18, excuse me, 816.3. So I will edit the manhole. And I'll hold it. I'll hold thing, the invert, and I'll make that 816.3. Now, let's also let's see. It's an existing manhole, and uh, its diameter was six feet. You may have noticed the manhole get wider when we edited to six feet. Let's go back and make it four feet. Watch the manhole graphics. Now, go back six feet. You also notice that the existing manhole has been dashed. If I make it new, it's not dashed. Existing, it's dashed. Now, the so the existing manhole is in place. Now, the nice thing about Splash is that you can put an initial design in and then adjust it. So what we'd like to do is to set manholes at all PIs. So we'll say set manholes at all PIs. It gives us the settings, which we'll go with the defaults. Uh, and now we have a sewer. So now we see our sewer. And I noticed that there's a bit of a dip in here. I'd like to check the, sl uh, the cover on that, so, or at least the depth of that. So I'll use the question mark and hit that pipe. And I see I'm running in a five to six foot. Uh, I have only a three to four foot cut. Therefore, I couldn't possibly have a three foot cover. So uh, I'd like to change the slope of that pipe a little bit. So I'll window up. And we'll edit the man, this manhole and change the slope of that pipe to, um, let's change it to 1%. That's a little radical, maybe uh, 1.5. Oops. 1.5. And uh, let's check that slope again, or the cover again. Uh, still not good enough. Maybe 1 was the way to go. So we'll change that to a 1% slope. Check our cover. We see it's deep enough. Back out to a full page. Now we notice that the profile has gone right off the panel, so let's pan the panel. We'll adjust that profile panel. Oops. We'll uh, edit the profile panel and change the station to the be station reference is the beginning of the panel. So I'll tell the panel to begin at station uh, 400. And that slid the panel over. And let's look at the rest of it. That looks pretty good, actually. Now let's take a closer look at the profile panel to see what's being placed on the panel. So we'll window in down here to the corner of the profile panel. And we see that the profile panel has elevations running up the side. The, the increment and scales are all completely, can be edited. Uh, the stations are running along the bottom of the panel. And let's window a little bit more. Under the manhole, we see that we have the inverts. And um, at the top of a manhole, we have the station and the rim elevation. Uh, on the pipes, uh, we have its 8-inch PVC pipe at a 1% slope 
and the length of the pipe. The length of the pipe is center of manhole to center of manhole. Now I'll do a fit view and return to the full view of this design. Now we have, in total, we've imported the data. We've triangulated the data into a solid surface. We have placed an alignment along the data. We've designed an initial sewer design on the alignment. And next, we will perform some editing and move the alignment around some and just to generally adjust this design. So to continue your demonstration, select Help, Sewer Design Demo, Move Alignment. 